Hello, in this session we will talk about what is Oracle REC. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So first thing first, REC, R-A-C, stands for Real Application Cluster. The main objective of Real Application Cluster is to provide performance, scalability, and resilience. Real Application Cluster is one of the database options that are available to extend the functionality of Oracle database. On the screen you can see various options that you can add to the Oracle database to extend the functionality. In this session we are going to talk about real application clusters. In other videos we will discuss other database options. Rack option is included in a standard edition of Oracle database and it comes with extra cost for enterprise edition. So here is a typical scenario. You have one or more applications talking over the network to Oracle Relational Database Management System. So when we say an application is talking to an Oracle Database Management System, what do we exactly mean by Oracle Database Management System? Well, you can break Database Management System into two main components, Instance and Database. So technically, the term Database is referring to the files that are stored on the database and it's not referring to the processes or the actual software. However, Generally speaking, this term in day-to-day -day language is used for RDBMS as well. So you need to know the context. What is the context of the discussion? But technically speaking, database means files only. So if database means files only, then what else is there? The other part is the software, which consists of processes. These processes are running in the memory of the server, while the files are stored on the hard disk. So if you turn off your server, the processes will be evaporated, but the files will remain there on the disk. But the database files consist of the data files, holding the actual data, control files, and the redo log files. So these are the three different types of files that will fall under the files component. All the software consists of various processes. Some of them are managing the memory, some of them are managing the input-output because these processes are writing data to the files and data is temporarily hold in the memory and it is written at a certain point to the files and the processes are also maintaining the uh, Oracle software as a whole and they are doing some other tasks as well. So processes are running in the memory. So before we talk about a rack environment, let's take a look at a non-rack environment. In a non-rack environment, you have one software instance talking to one database instance. Okay, so the software instance is referred to as an instance. The technical term instance would mean the software piece of Oracle database management system, and the term database, as already discussed, refers to the files on the disk related to Oracle database management system. So in a non rack environment, one software instance is talking to a single database. And in a rack environment, you have two or more instances, software instances, communicating with a single database. These software instances are running on a separate server. So all these servers together, consisting of software instances machines and the database machine holding the disk together is referred to as a cluster. So this is one cluster, one rack cluster. So in a broad picture, your applications, one or more, will be talking to the Oracle database management system. Now keep in mind, all these four machines in this example are making one database management system. So the application will be connecting to any of the three machines holding Oracle instances and all these three instances are talking to the same file system, uh, the same database files. So this automatically brings load balancing as we will talk about in coming slides. So on the screen you're looking at a three tier environment where you have browsers on one tier, browsers are talking to application server on the second tier and then you have database management system on the third tier. So this is a three tier environment. So do not get confused between load balancing that is happening at the application server versus with the load balancing that is happening within a rack environment. In a three tier environment, the actual application is running within the application server. 
browser is simply used to view the output of the application so all the number crunching is happening within the application server you can add multiple application servers to create scalability this is scalability has nothing to do with the scalability in the rack environment this is the scaling of the application so if application is under a lot of burden and number of users have increased tremendously then you can add more and more application server these application servers are talking to the same database management system now let's talk about what's happening within the database management system in a non rack environment there would be one uh, instance one oracle software talking to one oracle database this could be on both could be on a single server or separate servers but in a non rack in, in a rack environment there are multiple machines running oracle software and all of these machines are connected to the same file oracle set of files so the application servers could talk to any of the machines running oracle software so if your database management system is under a lot of uh, burden then you can add more and more instances this burden could come from one application server or multiple application servers it all depends on the communication that is going on between the application server and the database so you can add more instances here to create a scalability within the database management system so coming back to the objectives of the rack environment as we discussed before the main purpose is to provide performance scalability and resilience so let's take a look at the performance performance comes from the load balancing multiple machines are holding Oracle software so it creates a better performance and the load is shared between all these servers now scalability comes from the fact that you can add more machines to hold Oracle software so this is horizontal scaling where you're adding more nodes to the existing cluster and then resilience come from the fact that if something goes wrong with one of the machines it could be taken down without bringing down the whole environment so applications will still be uh, running they can talk to other machines that are running Oracle software so one machine could be brought down and uh, fixed while others are running so this also brings another important point so patching is now easier you can apply one patch at a time to to uh, to the machines that are running Oracle software without bringing the whole system down so let's talk about a uh, history a little bit in the good old days this option used to be called Oracle parallel server but it had its limitations which are now removed in Oracle real application cluster environment for example the multiple computers that are holding Oracle software couldn't share the content of the memory with each other while in Oracle real application cluster they can that has solved a lot of issues which will be a topic for a different session and Oracle rec was released as an option for Oracle database 9i in 2001 